folks, I'm on a road trip today. I'm out, uh, yeah, I've been driving now for close to two hours because there was uh, one of my, uh, yeah, one of the groups I'm in on, uh, on Facebook. There was a notice of uh, a guy who wanted to uh, give away free windows and uh, I wrote to him and uh, now I'm on my way to uh, pick them up and hopefully uh, they are in as good a condition as they looked uh, at the photo on Facebook but uh, yeah let's see it's free that's the best part of it I was talking about it was recycling yeah it is because I'm uh, the second owner of these but actually these have uh, they've never been used yeah here they are The, uh, the windows here, they come without in, uh, any brackets or anything, but there's a funny story attached to these. Uh, as a young trainee in carpentry uh, in Denmark, you, yeah, in the time you are getting uh, or you are under education you go to school in some periods and uh, you get uh, different kinds of uh, jobs or things you have to learn and uh, one of them was making windows and the guy where I picked these up uh, they're brand new, never used. Uh, he bought them at one of those schools 30 years ago. And uh, they've been standing in his barn since. He had a project where yeah, he wanted to, to build the first floor on one of the, his barns, like a guest room or something and uh, they were supposed to go in that but uh, it never it never happened um, so they've just been standing there and uh, now he just wanted to, to get rid of them so I got them for free and they're handmade in the uh, yeah with the the right yeah, it's, it's clear they are not uh, made on a factory and a machine. It's a uh, craftsmanship and I got them for nothing. And even, there was even the glass that goes in. I even got that for free. So all I have to do now is clean them up and I think... I'll bring them inside one by one to so they can uh, yeah get a bit warmer than out here in frost and give them I don't know two three coats of oil and uh, go to town and find some uh, brackets or hinges I think you call them so they can open and close uh, yeah it's really great and actually I think they are gonna sit like I think they're gonna sit like this yeah I don't know let's see I think I'll uh, have to 
made them, I don't know, fit more probably. But handmade stuff, brand new, even though they're 30 years old, that's good stuff. Great way to minimize uh, costs when you are like me, not a rich man, and uh, pick up stuff for free. Yeah, oh, I'll clean them up. trying to uh, clean out some of all this and remove this piece of plywood here move them over there get some of all the uh, the floor joists up yeah any screws so now I've been to town
Hej Smilda. Hej hej. Ja. This uh Hej Smilda. This is my uh, the size of my floor joist, two by six, and uh, this one is two by seven, and I think I got three more that's two by seven, but uh, we got a what do you call that a bevel? It's it's a bit round here, so I want to keep it in uh, in this size, but I have to take a bit out of it where it goes into the uh yeah what do you call that brackets or whatever those metal pieces that are holding them up <laughs> but it's uh, i can't write on this because it's glazed with ice but, yeah Let's see. Possible. I gotta find something else. That pencil. Yeah, I tried with the tush as well, but uh, nope. I'll try with the screw. Yeah. And <laughs> I thought it was frozen. See that. Now, hope they fit. Brilliant. Level. Yeah, went in for a cup of coffee and uh, now snow again. Yeah, I'll continue tomorrow. <laughs>